Hello and welcome, I'm Magim Panic and this is a little bit of tutorial for my beam rotate. Let's start with this one. For this particular beam, as you can see here, it's divided for three layers. One is that ray that's coming to grow this bubble and two of them are just the bubble on the front and the bubble on the back. To make this tutorial quick, I will focus on the ray for the first and it's nothing too complicated at this point, just a first frame looks like this. And then is this frame which will hold for couple frames, as you can see on my timeline, and then this ray disappears into just a tiny beats. So there's nothing too complicated, I can draw it quickly as an example for you. It's just a ray that's coming from the corner, then on the next frame is this huge huge ray, it holds for a couple frames and then it starts vanishing pretty pretty easily but with a little bit more details that I'm drawing now I'm, I just wanted to show you just the base idea so it's rays it holds and then it disappears nothing too complicated okay then let's go for the bubbles so the bubble is pretty pretty simple yet still complicated. I created those two layers, front and back. Let me show you with another example. I just created a simple ellipse, as you can see now. I'm gonna do it thin. With this simple ellipse, I will create another line like this and I will bend it because of the ground. And on the first frame I just have this a little bit here, then on the next one I will make it bigger, significantly bigger, and this thing will be bigger as well. And on the next frame it will start to slow down. And at some point this ball will go higher and bigger. So it will look like it's kind of catching the point where the bubble will burst, okay? And I might hold it in this position for a couple more frames. And this is what I've got. It's going pretty, pretty quick. I'm gonna cut everything that I don't need here just to show you what is happening and for this particular beam I decided to go with those circles that are growing going towards in one direction so what I had to do I just simply had to draw those circles inside of this beam frame by frame to make it work properly the way I want it. So let me start with a brush pen, because why not? And I will start with just a little one dot here, and then where, while I can see the previous frame, I can make it bigger like here, then I can make it like there, and then like there, and then I can even grab it on the edge of the of the ball and then I can go and make it vanishing kind of or just slowing down and growing because we want to make them grow then I can start making the second one maybe there and so on and so on until I will achieve a nice nice and smooth ball filled with those glowing 
growing uh, circles. What I need to do at this point, and I notice this now, uh, they had to slow down. So at some point, like there, you have to slow them down and grow them in one spot. So it will not look very, very weird. So let's do it one more time. We are growing those balls almost in one spot, so it's not moving. Okay, now it looks better. And when you will draw a lot of them, you will have this entire space filled with those balls. And what you have to do at the very end, you will just have to eliminate all those connections and just draw what's between them and just vanish everything. That's pretty much all you will have to do to make it work properly, just frame by frame, and that will be it. So you got the point right now how it could work. Then what I did is the back side of it, and that's a little bit more complicated because you will have to pay attention to what's actually going on on the screen. Uh, to make the back part, I would have this ball copied and pasted. So let's do it here. I'm gonna copy this and paste it. And the reason I'm doing it, I will show you in a second. Once I have it copied, let me recolor it all the frames to the color I need and let me erase everything from that right now, all the, all the drawings. So I'm gonna undraw everything that I have drawn there so far. It's a wise way to do it earlier. Okay, once I have it, I have this purple color behind because the layer is behind and then I can start making the back side of the ball which is there obviously because when we will look at it from the top when we will have the camera on the top what we will see will be this ball and it will have something like there while our plane like 2d plane where this one is placed the slice is there okay so we can see this part of the ball here on the black and the purple is there on the back part so you have to be very very careful when you will draw those things and you have to keep this motion to make it work properly and i would suggest you to make this motion backwards when you drew the front part to not get lost on what's going on because what should happen uh, you will have the situation like this when those balls are going forward like there then it's something like this and that and it's not there anymore so you have to have this back part there and this ball is going behind like that so it might be complicated and you might uh, stay a little while, uh, a little longer to figure out what's actually happened on the backside if you want to create that backside. Because to be honest, this uh, ball is still looking cool if you'll see only, if you'll look at it only on the front part. And that's pretty cool. I, I might consider just copy and paste this and just flip it and that might look just as cool. Let's just try it right now without any anything. And as you can see, there is something missing there. Okay, F7. It's kind of doing some type of motion 
but it's uh, it's looking weird. So in order to make it look cool, you'll actually have to draw this back part to make it look a little better. Okay, so that was this ball for the top. As you can see here, uh, the situation is the same, but instead of having this ball cut it with the ground, as you can see here, you can see the entire ball. So with the same method, you can just draw this. Okay, what I did on the very last part, I did this. And as you can see, I still have this ball growing. So I have the exactly the same method that I did, but I have those things coming from the very center growing. What I did to make it happen, I did everything as always, frame by frame. So let me, let me just sketch it quickly. Firstly, I had this ball that was obviously growing rapidly, very, very rapidly to cover the entire screen, just like that. And once I had it, I hold it for like two or three frames and then I started to draw on it a couple separate circles. And I just started, I just defined where is the circle, where, where is the center of it. And to not get lost, I created on another layer couple couple ellipses. Let me draw it. I drew a couple ellipses. So I was conscious about where those growing balls should go because I didn't want them to go backwards, if you know what I mean. I didn't want it to go them there and then like go back uh, on this on this line because it might destroy everything. What I wanted to do, I wanted to grow them rapidly from the center and have this kind of swirl twirl motion like this and exactly the same as I did in the previous one, I started to grow them bigger. Once I did like two, three, four, five of them, I started to repeat the process backwards actually, not forward but backwards. Uh, and what that means, uh, for example, I can see this spot there, so I started to create it a circle to fill this spot and I drew this backward motion, so I ended up like this. And once I created everything, you can see by now that everything is working in a very, very same way as the example that I showed you there. Hope that answered your question about how this was done. And now you should be able to draw it all by yourself using the very same method that I did as well as you can see all the glows there and parameters to check what exactly I used to make it glow the way it's glowing right now. Uh, as well as for those other balls. And as you can see, this backside have a little bit of transparency to add more depth to this animation. Thank you so much for watching Fairy, thank you so much for supporting me on my Patreon and see you around on the next videos. Have a wonderful day, cheers!